Hi everybody, right, we're going to look in this lesson at control of glucose levels. Okay, so we have got glucose and it can be converted to a storage compound called glycogen. And that is done by a hormone called insulin. And the storage compound glycogen can be converted back into glucose by a hormone called glucagon. All the G's. And this takes place in your liver. Okay, so what we're talking about here is control of glucose levels. And you have, in your body, you have a set point, a set amount of glucose. And it's about 18 milligrams per 100 centimetres cubed of blood. So this is your set point of glucose. And if you deviate from that point, if you go up or down from that point, if you get too much glucose in your blood, that can be a problem. If you've got too little glucose in your blood, that'll be a problem, problem as well. So we're going to look first of all at what happens if you've got too much glucose in your blood. So let's just imagine you've eaten, and this arrow here represents a rise in your glucose levels. So we're going to put a little box here and we're going to put in too much. So we've got too much glucose in your blood. We've got to bring it back down again. So what happens is this. As the glucose goes through an organ in your digestive system called the pancreas, cells of the pancreas detect that there's too much glucose in your blood and so what your pancreas does is it produces the hormone insulin releases it into the blood and when the insulin gets around to your liver it causes cells of your liver to convert the glucose into glycogen and it takes the glucose out of the blood so what does it start to do? The glucose levels start to come down. Now the glucose level at this point here is still too high. So cells of your pancreas continue to produce insulin and the level of glucose continues to fall continues to fall until it gets back to the set point, at which point the production of insulin is switched off. Now I'm hoping by now that you have realised that this is an example of negative feedback. So remember what negative feedback is. Negative feedback is where we have an increase in something, or a decrease, in this case it's an increase, and negative feedback reverses that trend. So by producing insulin your body reverses the trend of having too much glucose, brings it back down to the set point which is also called the homeostatic level. Remember that we're dealing with the, the concept of homeostasis here as well which homeostasis means to keep things the same. So we're back to our set level and your body's happy. Now let's imagine that the opposite has happened and that, oops, let's imagine that the opposite has happened and I'll create a little box down here to represent too little. So your glucose levels have fallen. So as the, as the blood goes through the pancreas, 
cells of the pancreas detect that there's too little glucose in your blood and what they do is they release this hormone here glu um, glucagon into your blood glucagon goes round your round your body to the liver and when it gets to the liver the glucagon causes the stored glycogen to be converted back into glucose that's pumped into the blood released into the blood and what's going to happen yeah your glucose levels start to come back up again and you can see here they're still not they're quite a way off being where they should be so glucagon continues to be produced glucose continues to be released into your blood until we get back to the set point and the glucagon production is switched off and you can see again it's an example of negative feedback we've had a decrease and what's happened is the reverse has been uh, 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 put into put into uh, into action in order to bring the glucose levels back to the set point okay that's basically it everybody that is it's a it's a really good example of negative feedback um, in order to create um, maintain a, uh, a set level of something which is as I've just said before homeostasis so what I'd like you to do now everybody could you have a look at the worksheets that I've uh, attached on show my homework have a go at them have a go at the learning checklist um, and um, the next lesson Thursday's lesson I'd like you to do some consolidation work on the control levels of glucose okay and Friday's lesson is for you to catch up on things and then I'll see you next week okay bye guys